What I think I like the most about Heavy is the power and presence he brings to Team Fortress 2. He's not tanky enough on his own to force enemies to never engage him, but he's not exactly weak enough that he can't do things without teammates helping him. I feel like his speed being as low as it is helps him feel a bit more balanced with how powerful each of the miniguns feel to use. I know some people don't feel like that, and that might just be me. However, I understand that a lot of players struggle to play Heavy effectively due to several factors beyond their control. That might be snipers, spies, explosive classes, trains you can't outrun, whatever. The speed is the main one I see brought up a lot due to how slow his base speed is and how mandatory people feel like using the Gru is to even enjoy playing Heavy at all. I don't personally agree with this viewpoint, but I definitely think it shows the age of the game and how different things are compared to when TF2 launched in 2007. While I wouldn't mind some nice QOL changes to Heavy's base kit, this video isn't really focusing on that, but rather my gripe with the Tomislav, which is the quintessential Heavy unlock that is the result of all those proposed sort of QOL changes. For those who don't know, the Tomislav is an unlockable primary weapon for Heavy that gives you all these sorts of stats. The first one is a plus 20% faster spin-up time, which brings it to about 0.696 seconds according to the wiki. You also get a 20% more accuracy bonus, which allows the weapon to consistently outdamage all other miniguns past about 300 hammer units, except the Brass Beast of course. If you want a more relatable example for that, that would be something like the Flamethrower's max range, which is about 300 hammer units. Any closer than the max range is where the Tomislav's bonus accuracy starts to mean less compared to the other miniguns. It also has Silent Rev, which is probably the best stat about it, but I'll come back to talking about this later. And the only downside the weapon has is a 20% slower firing speed, which brings down your attack interval to about 8 in 1 second instead of 10. It cuts your damage by about 20% as far as I know. I know a lot of people try to sell this downside as a pretty hefty downside for Heavy, but honestly, it works to your favor more often than not. To summarize all the stats, the gist of the Tomislav is that it lets you do everything as Heavy faster and quieter, which is pretty much what everyone's been wanting for him since the dawn of the competitive scene. If you want some more modern examples of what people have wanted for him, look no further than custom weapon ideas on the workshop or on other community servers. I feel like most of the players look at the Tomislav and say, Faster raving? I was tired of getting jumped by scouts around the corner without seeing them. Like all of the stats help you to do all the things you already want to do as Heavy, but it's a lot easier. And that's my main gripe with it. It's really easy to use. For anyone who doesn't play a ton of Heavy, the main things you want to do are position yourself somewhere that prevents enemies from playing the game as easily and also supports your teammates by doing so. What this usually means is that enemies have to come to you and die to you in the same way they would for a sentry gun, except you can move, eat, and get a headshot instead of netting an engineer to baby you. Unless you have a medic that looks like this. And the Tomislav helps you do all of this easier than all of the other options combined. Faster Rev means you can engage enemies sooner and take questionable positions faster without having to wait the full 0.87 seconds Rev with stock. Better Accuracy means you can zone out people easier at longer ranges, which makes that fantasy of counter-sniping a sniper as heavy a reality. And Silent Rev lets you do dumb shit like this to people. There's literally no counterplay to this besides checking your corners. The trade-off of the firing speed hardly comes into play except in a few niche situations. The first of which is a heavy v heavy and he's not using the Tomislav. If he spins up first, you lose. But the key thing here is that you could just backpedal during this encounter and you can outrange him with your better accuracy. So long as you never fight a heavy v heavy in close range, you'll pretty much always win. Again, the brass beast is an exception, but you know, it always is. The second case would be a sentry that's being actively healed by an engineer, especially if they're using the Wrangler. You're gonna struggle to kill the sentry at point-blank range if they're using that combination, and then something like the Jag or the Rescue Ranger on top of that. But using it to harass from a longer distance is where you're going to excel, so doing that instead lets you chip the sentry out and draw attention without putting yourself at an equal risk. The third scenario is when you're fighting against a quick-fix uber. This is probably just my awful tracking, but outdamaging a quick-fix uber with the Tomislav is a toss-up. Unless they're standing still or literally right next to you, it's really difficult to kill anyone who's being healed by this thing. There's no real caveat to this one unless you have spectacular tracking or you're making sure all your shots are connecting. Pretty much any of the other minigun does this a lot better with even semi-consistent tracking. The last one is against the Vaccinator. That kind of goes without saying since this is one of the worst DPS miniguns compared to majority of his other options, but still felt like I should say. I'd honestly consider this to be the one time you shouldn't use this weapon over stock and maybe even something like the Hulong Heater.
since Afterburn cuts the damage resistance by a decent portion, so for the love of god, switch to the Hulong when you see the vac. Otherwise, the Tomislav is what any player would be using on Heavy 99% of the time. I've spent the last two and a half years playing the game consistently again since a long hiatus, and I've always felt inspired and invigorated to play other classes and experiment with other unlocks all the time. I'm still finding new combinations that I never thought of before and really enjoying the game a lot more than I previously had just using the same stuff all the time. With that mindset, I've been trying to experiment with the Tomislav with different options over the last few weeks trying to get my strange one to hail zone. And holy fuck was it boring. I don't consider myself a god tier heavy player or even that great with tracking, but hot damn was playing heavy so much easier with this thing. I could always go for chip shots on people at any range, I didn't have to worry about revving half the time because you could do this dumb jump rev tech, and the reduced firing speed actually helped me save more ammo than I would with stock thanks to the 4 additional seconds of firing time it has. I never really felt the pings of losing the stock minigun's extra damage in any case unless it was one of those specific scenarios I talked about, and most of the time you can just avoid those by not engaging in those scenarios. Despite what most people might say, Heavy does have the agency to not commit to certain fights. I even tried to run the Tomislav with the shotguns for a few days to see what kind of combinations I could come up with, and I found myself almost never using them because the Tomislav could just do what they want to do a lot easier and a lot faster. I love to use the shotguns on Heavy, and it feels really bad that the value I could be getting from them is completely compensated by the Tomislav, on top of the Tomislav almost outclassing all of the other miniguns. I know a lot of people who don't play Heavy typically like to use this weapon since it makes them faster and easier to play, and that's okay. A lot of people don't play Heavy consistently and will only swap to him if they need that extra meat on their team, and that's okay. This isn't a call to nerf the weapon or buff any of the other miniguns, as I all think they're in a good place mostly. Except maybe the Brass Beast. But I think my thesis at the end of this long video is to just not pigeonhole yourself into using only one unlock. A lot of the other miniguns are viable options in both offense and defense, and I'm surprised at how infrequently people would use them over something like the Tomislav. It almost never happens. I understand overall utility outweighs specific utility, that's how most of the weapons in the game work, but I think there's something to be said about using the other options even when the Tomislav makes things easier. I don't know, that's probably a really half-assed message at the end of this rant, but that's the best I could come up with. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you thought I said something stupid or just plain wrong, just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, part 2 of the Heavy Upward Guide is coming out soon, so please bear with me on that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later, skater. One last thing, for God's sake, please check your quarters.